And this is the Weekend Edition. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. This is the Weekend Edition, good through Sunday, September 18th, 2016. On Friday, the markets get rocked. Spiders down almost a full percent. However, small caps only down 0.15%. But check this out. Financials down 1.42%. Flying in the face of any sort of bullish uh, indications. And here, crude oil down more than 1%. Gold and silver down. VIX dropping by 10%. Here we are looking at the S&P 500 daily chart. The thing that I want to share with you is this. We're in a big rising wedge. We're down below most moving averages. Price action went up, down a bit, staying high, 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 and then we drop, almost giving us a head and shoulder type formation. We drop, 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 drop. Then we go into this seesaw. Boom, 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 boom tight pattern. This, my friend, is building strength. Go here and draw a couple little mini-me trend lines. You can see what I'm seeing. You drop, drop, drop. You go into what's called a bearish pennant. Bearish pennant. These can be very explosive either direction. However, this has a better chance of going down. If this does break and break down below the 100-day moving average, expect this big trend line, the blue one here, to serve as support. And you can go back to this area, and this was February 11th, 2016. You can pause the video, draw the same trend line. Coming up here to June 27th, 2016. Always pause the video and draw lines like as I have them, and that I keep you in line. Furthermore, you can go down and click in the bottom right hand corner, full screen, and make sure you click high definition. That will give you great clarity in watching these charts. On the weekend edition, I like to look at the weekly and monthly too. Just before I do that, something I want to share with you. If you go to Grok Trade, now if you're lucky enough to watch this video on Friday night or first thing Saturday morning, you can be a part of this. If not, you snooze, you lose, you're out. Uh, if you have an interest in trading, you really don't know a lot about trading, but it might be in your tomorrow, then we have a course for you. It's a $12 course. However, if you click on this, we're going to give you $3 off. The $3 off, it's a $9 course. It's an hour and a half, and we're going to teach you the basics of trading. Click on that link. That'll bring you to this page. Saturday, September 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys on the West Coast, it's going to be an early morning for you. Get your coffee. It's an hour and a half. Click register right here and you will be set and ready to go. I want to look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart on the S&P 500 is in big time trouble. Let me explain to you what I'm seeing here. And I want you to wrap your head around this. Look at these two blue lines. Okay, these two trend lines, the blue ones. We go higher, higher, higher on a weekly chart. We hit support, we hit support. Pull down, we chop around, we come down, and we found a support area right here. Or hit resistance, resistance, and then found support here. We go higher, and that allows us to draw this lower trend line. Well, you'll notice that when we go higher here, we miss not hitting the upper trend line. So we failed to do that. That's relative weakness. So uh, now I have to draw the red line, which shows us that we're in a rising wedge. I look down at my MACD, and I see that we have what's called a bearish divergence. In our mentoring program, you'll learn all about those and how to trade those. This week, we went higher, 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 but we come right back down. The problem is we close on the wrong side of this, this trend line. This is a crack in the ice. If you guys ever been on a frozen pond and the ice cracks, it's a dangerous place to be. That is what we have here. 
we have the rising 20-week moving average acting as support. I expect this to drop lower. We could be in for a very bearish week going into next week. If I look at the monthly chart, the monthly chart on the S&P 500, I called a little early last week. Remember last week? Last week I said I'm going to put a sell signal here, but I think that I'm early. But I put it nonetheless. Sure enough, we dropped. We got a lower high and a lower low on the monthly chart. The month is only half over, but we do already have a lower high and a lower low. That is big time trouble, gang. If we get this could be our this is a pivot candle. We go higher, 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 doji, and it's a reversal candle. Now we have a pivot candle. Now we're ready for a down leg to commence. Big news here. Man, share this video. Let's go and look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ daily chart. NASDAQ has been relatively the most bullish index this week. Look at this. Boom. When you have the SP and Dow kind of chopping sideways, not tech stocks up 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 the problem though with tech is we're nearing big time resistance areas look at this resistance 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 we're right there again that is trouble trouble city but on the daily we're going higher on big volume that is great news for the bulls but the problem is resistance big time so watch this watch as we go higher and higher and higher and we roll over with the trajectory slowing down you can see that with the red trend lines that i've drawn here and then we go here we go flat line and then we have a significant drop even dropping below the 50 week moving average or 50 day moving average huge and then we rally back higher 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 to hit this area this is going to give us a triple top one two and three and there we could get a big drop but let's see if the weekly chart will give us any sort of indication on what we can expect we come across follow me here resistance 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 major resistance look at this we are at major major resistance right now i called last week a sell signal However, this week we're trying to go higher, but we have a lower high, lower low for the weekly. And gang, this could be, uh, every time we hit this level, it keeps dropping. If we cannot power through the, these areas, expect this to keep dropping. But it, look at this, it did rally on huge volume right into resistance. Is that the power that's needed to blast through this area if so i will immediately put a buy signal one of these gray ones th here going into next week so the buy signal would be there if it goes higher and we should be off to the races if that is to happen so if i go here to the monthly chart the monthly chart on the nasdaq these are tech stocks okay so we have resistance resistance and resistance and now we have what's called a hanging man we go higher 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 we get a hammer at the high of an up leg that's a hanging man now we have an equal high which is a tweezer top now gang a tweezer top is highly bearish so we have a hanging man and a tweezer top already with a lower low so this could drop very quickly. If we do drop, that's going to uh, confirm this rising wedge. If we have this rising wedge, if I were to bring this up here, you can see this swing, we're higher. However, from this swing, we're lower. That's a bearish divergence. So we could be really sniffing out a top here. Wow, big news. So if I go, let's look at crude oil and gold and silver and all sorts of fun things next. Again, guys, go to Grok Trade. Chances are you're going to miss this uh, event, so throw that away. But go to the Trading Mentor. We have one coming up in Las Vegas in November. 
That is the best course you want to be a part of that. What I recommend, this is so important that you hear me here. If what I recommend is taking the online mentorship, the online mentorship next month. You can do that from the comfort zone home Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Get this, okay? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Do this. And then do the retake the next month where we do it live in Las Vegas. If you do that, you will be a rock star trader. Uh, your confidence in the markets will explode. And I have so many, I have so many testimonials. These are just the ones I have edited and posted. So what I want you to do is go there and just listen to the people. They'll speak in their own language, in their own words, and they will share with you their experience. And maybe one of these or two of these or three of these people will, uh, will speak to you. To get the whole purpose of that is get you to fill out this form so we can have a talk with you and talk with you where you're at in your trading. All right, uh, mentoring. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but where I've been trading 18 years in the markets, I would have washed out of the markets if it wasn't for getting mentored. That is the shortcut to you guys doing exceptionally well in the markets. You know, I had uh, somebody not too long ago where I asked, hey, how long have you been watching my videos? And, and you guys have posted it. I'm just so humbled by the fact you, you listen to my videos. But one of you guys said, I asked, hey, have you, do I know you? Because you've been following us for seven years. Uh, do I, you know, I just assumed you'd be a student. And I know I'm talking, you, I'm talking about you right now, my man. <laughs> so bear with me here. I'm not saying your name or anything. But you said no, and I know, I know, I know I've lost so much more in the markets than, than what an education would have um, done for me. And oh, oh, it just kills me because I see so many people wash out. The days of losing money need to be over. Quit, put a tourniquet on it and say, I need a change. I need a trading education. The shortcut is not books. You can burn the books in the backyard in the seminars because all that is is flighty information, a bunch of ethereal information that's out there that has no assimilation. The mentoring assimilates that information together to put you on a rock solid path. So again, uh, if you go to, if you just do yourself this one favor, this one favor, just go to Grok Trade and click on Trading Mentor and just listen to the videos. That's all. And if you want to listen to me, you can click on, I don't know, which one is it? Um, this one. This one, I'm at my trading desk actually here. I mean, oh, Vegas Mentoring. You So definitely do this. I'm at, Oh, I tell my story on this one. I actually forget. Um, there's a trading quiz down there. See how you do on the trading quiz. And if you fail it, then... Um, you know, you need to fill this form out and let us talk with you further. All right, uh, crude oil. Man, that was a soapbox that I didn't expect to jump on. Uh, crude oil. I said, here's our triangle. Look at this, triangle, triangle, triangle city. Look at this triangle, big time for crude oil. Triangle, triangle, and it broke, boom. Or Mark says, bam, to the downside, bam, 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 crashing through this support level in trouble, trouble, trouble. But look at the big symmetrical triangle. There we have a support level. We got to watch for that. That could be a support. We're watching this closely, but it broke this right now. It is sell, sell, city. And if I look here at the weekly chart, I expect it to rally sometime soon. Expect crude to get ready to rally. We have a great opportunity for that. And I need to add a line here. And the line's going to go there to, oh, no. Support, support. It broke that this week. I have to take this off. That is no, no good. No good. No good, no good. I'm using tradingview.com, tradingview.com. Um, wow, wow, wow. Uh, the monthly chart on crude oil, I called it a sell. I continue to say sell. Oh, crude oil is just in a mess. Mess, mess, mess. This here is gold, gold, gold. Now, gold got itself into trouble Thursday. Broke down. I put a sell signal. It found support at this level coming across. I had this line in already. I said, watch for support. And sure enough, it acted as great support. Rising 100-day moving average. Um, you might get a little bounce, but then look for it to drop again. Gold's just in oh, horrible trouble. No good, no good for gold. Weekly chart is 
oh, I got to get rid of this. I expect it to go. No, for the week, gold breaks a major area of support, finding a little support to 20-week moving average. But look at this. Support, support, support broken. Boom, boom, boom. Red signal. Big time sell on gold. Gold's in trouble. Guys, share this video. You're hearing it first right here. Let me see what the monthly is doing. Sure enough, lower high, lower high, three, two, two consecutive lower highs for the months. We're at this area of support. I expect this to continue downward. I am saying sell signal. I actually should have had it on this one. I'm late. I'm putting it on this one. Wow. Let's go to silver, silver, um, silver. Uh, I have, I said I expected it to drop and sure enough, it broke support. I'm going to get rid of what I expected. Now I'm putting a definite sell signal on silver, silver broke support. Look at support, 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 broken, trouble city. Let's go here to the weekly chart. I have a buy on this, but then it drops. I, I'm going to have to still say buy until it breaks this trend line. Has it done it yet? But look at all the weakness. I called it a buy, but and then it's sinking. Um, oh, it's just not looking good, but it has a little bit of hope here on the monthly or on the weekly chart. Let's see at the monthly what it shows us. Up, up, up. We drop. Now we have a lower high equal low. I might be a little early to this. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I know the month's not over with. We're only half done, but I'm going to set that in as a sell signal on the bigger, bigger time frame. I hope you like what I'm doing. I hope that you give me a like. More importantly, I really hope that you share this with your friends. There are some significant technicals here that will help them tremendously. Let's make some money going into next week. Catch you later.